Okay, guys, here we go. I am back, and we've got some more stuff from here. I am in Asia, and I have found some interesting new things. I wanted to bring them to you. Uh, today, uh, as you can see, the rainy season here in Asia uh, pretty much on the way out. Clear skies for the most part again, and it's quite gorgeous, even though rather cold on the east coast of the United States. Here it is hot as ever, uh, and... Um, beautiful outside. But what we really do want to look at here today is some interesting new stuff. And I've had the chance to see a lot of things, luxury items, higher end watches, all the stuff you might be looking for, including the great new stuff from Seiko. And um, there are a, quite a few new things out this season, as you can see here. Um, and I did have a chance to get a look at a number of different things. But what really caught my eye this week, and this is a brand new item, only about five days old, here in Southeast Asia in Thailand, are these. This is the Seiko Save the Sea Special Edition. Uh, a s smart spirit or spirit smart, you decide, um, version of... If you're familiar with, uh, if you've seen the Nano Universe collaboration that they did, it's basically built on the same platform. Uh, it is a 100-meter water-resistant uh, design that has some very unique cues here, some interesting choices. The materials are uh, a little bit lower in price, so this becomes a much more affordable watch. This is a special edition, so although done in a relatively limited quality, it's not impossible to find, and I anticipate that these will show up uh, in the Western marketplace and some of the Japan sellers, even places perhaps uh, like eBay in the coming months. But get a look at these, and let me tell you why I found these very interesting. For those of you guys who saw my Seiko Zimbi uh, original video, the unboxing, and then my review, these are excellent. Take a look. Look at the face. Now, this one really intrigued me, and I'll talk about it because this ends up being one that I bought for myself. Uh, they've taken the iconic Seiko Turtle design on the dial and applied it to this platform. Now, there's the Seiko Universe, uh, the Nano Universe line here, guys. If you guys had seen that and found those to be interesting, but ended up, because these were a limited edition collaboration, uh, limited numbers, I think, of only 3,000, they tended to be quite expensive for what you were getting. Really cool design. Love the band. Love the monochromatic design here and the, di the dial choices that they used. Um, this is the similar platform. It's a 4R36A um, movement, okay? And it's the same movement. You've got the day-day complication, but you've got the really excellent uh, Seiko Turtle dial, and I find that to be really interesting because if you couldn't get yourself a Seiko Zimbi because of the price or because of essentially now they're uh, harder to find and the price is very high because they're so limited, this allows you to get into something that looks very similar uh, but is much more affordable and uh, has the excellent features. As you can see, um, the one on the right, which is the SRPA37J1, the one I decided to get, and here it is on my wrist, this one has the bead blasted or honed finish, for those of you guys familiar with the Zimbi, and it'll show up again here in the video. I'll do some comparisons so you can see what I mean. Uh, it has the gray dial. It has really unique blue markers here. And when I first took a look at this, I wasn't sure, but when I tested it later, uh, and we got to look at the loom. There's a surprise there at the end. As you can see, bead blasted or honed finish, which is what they call it. Uh, Seiko calls it uh, honed. Um, so it has that nice sort of satiny smooth finish, a little bit resistant to scratching. It does have two pieces in the center link of the bracelet that are high polish. The inner part of the bracelet has a nice uh, brushed finish to it, so it's smooth on the wrist. It's comfortable. Um, this one is a watch that has some interesting design choices and allows it to be extremely wearable for a number of different wrist sizes. Although it is a approximately a 45 millimeter uh, width with a bezel, um, it is a much smaller profile. It reduces way down to around 30 uh, millimeters or so on the wrist. And take a look below uh, later on, guys. When I get this all up, I'll have all the spec numbers below and the information in the comment area and the description of the video. Uh, so it really does fit comfortably on the wrist there. You can see the 4R36 movement. 
Very basic, but very reliable, very dependable. And here also keep a note that each one of these has a theme. It's a Save the Sea a special edition. Each one is a sea animal. So you've got the blowfish, the, uh, the manta ray, the seahorse, the turtle, the starfish, and the dolphin or porpoise. So that is really interesting. Uh, making them highly collectible. Each one comes with a special card. Um, and um, I just think they're really gorgeous. What an interesting idea, a great thing that they've come up with here. And because they're affordable, uh, I think it's a great way to get into a collectible at a good price. If you look for it very soon, buy it. Because down the road, I anticipate these will be worth more. Even though they are a basic watch, they're going to be rarer. Uh, but there it is between the two Seiko Turtles. You can see they've really mirrored some of the design choices, uh, especially that dial. Very nice finish. You've got that crown that comes out. It is not a screw-down crown. Um, unfortunately, it is a 100-meter water-resistant watch. So what we're looking at here is something that really does get inspiration from the diving category. However, it's not a true uh, Prospex ISO rated dive watch, but it is a water-resistant watch and certainly very durable. You can see here it is a bi-directional bezel and another surprise there is no click on this bezel guys so it does have some smooth kind of a smooth resistance a little bit of resistance to it but there is no click so you don't have to worry about it floating around it does have a nice strong resistance to it it centers up really nicely as do uh, the chapter ring and the um, dial itself the markers on the dial so i was impressed by that this is a true made in Japan watch. Uh, as you can see, it does not have solid end links. So there are a couple of downsides in terms of the uh, manufacturing configuration. However, at this price, and I found this one to be almost about 300 bucks, you can probably get it for a little less with the discounting if you look out there for it. Um, if there's a plus side to that, it is because it does not have drilled lugs, unfortunately, it is easy to access a spring bar and take it off. As you can see, I had the salesperson do that very easily and quickly and look at that it does come each one comes with its own nato strap color coordinating with the dial and the configuration and there it is it's very comfortable guys on a nato you cannot beat this watch it's terrific for the price the look the configuration uh, for our three six movie you can see here this one uh, for the southeast asia market they typically have english and a roman numeral uh, configuration on the day date wheel but I really enjoy it. It's a hardlex crystal um, with the stainless body and stainless bracelet and the included NATO strap. What a great configuration, great price. Guys, what do you think about this one? I've got a lot more stuff coming out, but this one here really caught my eye. I thought it was terrific. Now, what I want to do here quickly, you can see next to the Zimbi on a NATO. Good comparison of the two. Let's take a look uh, at the loom, because here's the kicker and what really made me want this one. Um, if you can see, it might be tough to see on the video, but the blue markers are actually uh, tinted enough so that the loom is blue, almost kind of like Rolex loom tends to be. Uh, a bluish loom. It's not your typical green Lumabrite. Really neat, guys. I really thought that that was excellent. So get a look at that. Uh, pretty neat. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this really cool Spirit Smart Save the Sea Special Edition series. It's affordable. It's not as limited as the Zimbi there on the left, which was very limited. Only 1,299 pieces were made of that one, and so that one was quite expensive for what you were getting. This one is excellent. It's a great beater watch. It's a really neat configuration. If you like the other colors, get a look at them. Tell me what you think. I will uh, shoo up some more pictures here at the end of the video. And um, I just have to say, for the price, the weight, it's again 22 millimeter lug width, so you can get your 22 millimeter straps on this one. And there it is in the evening on my balcony there. The loom really does pop on this one. Great watch with the hack and wine movement and the day date complication. I am uh, pretty thrilled with it. A great purchase, something nice to throw into the collection, and I do believe this one here is going to be a great collectible. Uh, even though it is a nice, affordable watch, it's still a rare one from Seiko and a great collaboration. 
Okay, guys, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear from you on this one. Stay tuned. A lot more stuff coming up. I am in Asia, and there will be more stuff up soon on the channel. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon.